Welcome back. My name's Steve and thank you for joining me on my photography journey. Today I want to talk about this. This is my new Remarkable tablet. So, what is it? It's an e-ink or paper tablet. The idea is that it feels like writing with paper and pen and having all the convenience of the digital world as well. So the next question is obviously why? I generally use a combination of notebooks and pens alongside digital tools like Notion, Readwise, and I use these to organize my life, plan these YouTube videos and arrange my photography outings, photo shoots and things like that. I love writing with pen on paper, but how do I get what I've written in a notebook from there onto my computer into Notion? I've done lots of research on this topic and as usual I've watched many different YouTube videos. Um, I'm going to link three of my favourite ones in the description below so thank you to you three. I've also asked real life people that I know how it works for them. I've seen them using it and see what they've done with it and how they use it to see if it works for them and whether it might work for me. Up until now, the closest thing that I've had was using my iPad and the Apple Pencil to, to write and then transfer things. But that certainly didn't feel like a nice writing experience. It, I'd also pretty much get distracted by the internet, so not really the most productive way of doing things. And this is what I ordered. Um, I have the Remarkable tablet itself, a Marker Plus and then this, which is the folio case for it. I decided on the Marker Plus, partly because it's got an eraser on the end so I can rub out things that I've made mistakes with, but also the thing that sets it apart from the standard marker is that it's a little bit heavier. Um, so it's a slightly nicer writing experience itself. It feels a bit more pen-like. Uh, the folio is basically just a cover um, and I don't want to risk breaking the screen because that's the main thing about it. It's a nice light cover. It doesn't really add much to the size of the device. And it feels light. It feels completely different to my iPad. And actually, it's even lighter than a notebook as well. The tablet itself is USB-C powered. So I've already got plenty of those cables lying around. But actually, it does come with a really nice one, um, which I, I do really like. It's a flat one. The initial setup is nice and straightforward. I set my files up in a way that I set them up for everything. Um, so I've got my organization is based on the para method by Tiago Forte. I'll link a video below as well. And my top level folders are projects, areas, resources and archives. I've got this set up in my phone, on my Mac and every app that I need to save files in so I can always find things when I need them. One of the great things about the Remarkable is that I can use it anywhere and be able to have all of my work with me so I can look up reference material or I can write a script for video on a train. Now, I'm not only going to use this for writing my video scripts, but also for my day job. I can take meeting notes, I can organise projects, I can keep track of my diary and my to-do list. Then using the desktop app, I always have these available on my work computer too. So what else can I use it for? For the photography side of things, I'm going to plan shoots, whether this is just a shot list of, for example, traveling to a photo show, or whether it's more for the travel and accommodation for a bit more of an adventurous trip. After a little playing around with that, I've also managed to incorporate it into my Notion workflow, which again, I might talk about in another video, because that's where I store everything that I need to remember or learn from. And how does it actually feel? I think that's the big thing. It really does feel like writing with pen on paper. I could be fooled into thinking that someone had swapped it out. Um, completely different experience to the glossy, slippery experience of using an iPad. You've got different pens that you can use on here, as in digitally choosing different pens, so a highlighter, a fine liner, a marker. I seem to have settled into using the thickest fine liner for most of my writing, and then the thickest marker for my title pages. Everything on the screen appears in black or grey um, on the tablet itself. But when you look at it in the app, when you export it, then colour 
magically appears. So I've got marker pens, I've got highlighters. So for whatever situation it is, it's black and white on here. And then when I export it as a PDF or an image, then there's color as well. So my initial impressions of this are fantastic. I really enjoy using it. I really enjoy writing on it. The sound is also very good. So it feels like writing on paper. It sounds like writing on paper. And it's so light and easy to carry that I've used it far more than any other notebook or anything like that. And the fact that it all attaches with magnets, it folds up nicely into such a small, thin package. When I was traveling to the photography and video show, I took it with me. I wrote some notes on the train on the way up about what I wanted to do, what I wanted to see. And then while I was listening to talks by various different photographers, I actually took notes on the talks on the remarkable so that I could then remember the key points that they made and take away lessons and actually remember them for the future. Yes, I could have done that in a paper notebook, no problem at all. But the benefit of that is that it's all backed up to the cloud. So uh, if I lost this, then I'd still have access to all of my notes. I can put it into Notion, my second brain, where I can refer back to it, link it to different video scripts or to different photography projects that I've got. And the whole thing is just a great combination. And for me, a great digital workflow, but with the ability to handwrite as well, which I do enjoy doing. So that's my initial impressions on it. I will come back to this in the future, tell you more about how I'm using it, why I'm using it and the benefits that I'm getting from it or if it's terrible. Um, have you got anything like this? How do you document the things that you want to remember, the things that you've learnt, um, ideas for photo shoots, YouTube videos, or anything like that? Leave suggestions, comments down below, and we'll hopefully have a bit of a chat about that. But other than that, have a great week, and I will see you again next time on My Photography Journey. Bye. Bye.